All right, uh, thought I'd make another little video tonight. Uh, put this one together. Really, the new guys in the block, the new gals. Um, I'm by no means a master. I've only been playing for about a year now. Um, but I have learned some things, and I'd like to pass them on to the new folks. When I first started playing banjo, um, it, was, it was really hard to come across good teaching materials. I didn't know where to look. Uh, so I found myself scouring the internet for hours. Um, you guys have got a really good resource here with this group, so I thought I would put some stuff together that would help you right out of the gate. Uh, namely, let's, let's talk about finger picks. So I prefer the Dunlaps, and I use an 18 gauge. You wear them, you want your first finger and your second finger, so your pointer finger and your middle finger. Be careful with that middle finger. And you want them to be natural. Let's see if we can. Everybody always asks, how do you do the tips? You want them to be natural curve towards the ends of your fingers. You just want it to be a natural extension with a little bit of the blade hanging off of the end so it acts like a fingernail of sorts. All right. Um, you play with what you think is comfortable. I started out playing with these. These were uh, generic pro picks um, style, really. They're not name brand pro picks by any stretch of the mean. But imagination, but as you can see, the blade on them is very thin. I have large fingers, so I need something that covered the tips well. And the next important piece is your thumb pick, and they come in a variety of sizes. Most players use plastic. I've tried everything from the generic to this is a national. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite ones. Um, if you can see the blade length, let's see if I can get that in the camera so you can see. Notice how much shorter that blade is than that blade. I prefer a shorter draw, so I, I really like this one. Of course, you wear it with the curve over the finger, like this, and you want it to sit down on the finger. Not, you see some players that will sit with them on the thumb like this. It's a good way to lose the thumb pick. And that's not what you want to see happen. You want to set that thumb pick down. All right. It's about where I let that one ride when I play with it. And as of late, I'm getting a little fancy. Went out and got me one of these blue chips. Blue chips I love. You got the metal ring. You got the laser etch blade. This is the uh, JD Crow Custom. As you can see, it is open, but you really can't tell it's open. It, uh, and it doesn't spin. There's really no give with it. It's got a really nice, clean, and bright sound. So, there's picks. Be the first of, I guess, I'll do two videos tonight. I'm going to do picks, and then I'll do one on four rolls. All right. 